go, my kids. Putting a lot of contact defensively. Ayun, tinamaan. Yes, at tulad nito, ang ganda ng individual defense. Ni Kalisaan, pero off ball, yun, sa loose ball. Tinamaan sa mukha. Itong si Baltasar. There you see Balti being treated on that Pampanga bench out. Tahonera there as he tried to block out Lervin Flores. But outlet ni Miranda. Ang ganda nung tapos si Ligurado, ni Wamar. Panganiban for three. Good! Big shot! Galing kay Nico Panganiban. Labas kay Garcia. He has to fire MJ! Ang bigat ng tira niya. Will return to the North Division Finals. The San Juan Knights are back on familiar ground. Wamar finds by guess inside the paint. Spin inside the paint. Brandon Ramirez. Talk about the playoff bracket. The path to the division finals for these squads. Pampanga was able to come back in the game, but clutch shots by Michael Malonzo and Orlan Momar gave the Knights the victory in that game. Lamang ng this is a ace in the first half against Michael Calisan. You look at their numbers on your screen. Our primary protagonists for this game are starting five. I don't think anyone, you know, in the MPBL world, you know, na uh, really a surprise for Pampanga. They didn't even know si Serrano as MJ Garcia opens up in the layup. And for Governor Dennis Delta Pineda, they want to get Jeff Vernes going early. Right, because he got going up and under. No good on the shot. Baltazar pulls it down. Viernes is ahead of the pack. Miranda is there to stop him. Garcia off the back and in. It has been remarkable to see the improvement of MJ Garcia this season. We're in, you know, nakita namin yung simula niya at yung pag-develop niya on a strong side left. Nito. Garcia on your screens. Miranda drives to the middle, goes for the one-hander. Balti in the middle, takes the jumper, gets past Balti. Tahonera, almost the same spot as earlier. This time, he hits it. Miranda has Algoriza in front of him. Access denied by Renz Algoriza. Backpedaling as you see, and then the back timing of Kanyang Palpal. Pinasok na. Panganiban gets the handoff. Tahonera sets the screen. Panganiban settles for the jumper. That's all net. Pangalawa na yan dahil ang una three-pointer ni Tahonera. Pero ito ang ganda ng atake ni Panganiban. They go to Panganiban. Panganiban for three. That one's short, offensive rebound. Mike Malonzo off the glass and in. Serrano heavily pressuring him. Pugnatan puts the ball on the deck. Swatted away by Aguilos. Concepcion ahead of the back. Archie will finish comfortably. Take a look at this fast break of the game. Brought to you by Sportsmax. Powered by Playmax, the official online entertainment partner of the MPBL win to the max. That's Archie Concepcion finishing in transition para sa Mapanga. Now that's a stat. That is one thing to look out for. It's para sa yung mga tali para niya. Zach Wang has entered the game for the Knights as well as Orlan Mumar Jr. Zach Wang on the left side. Zach tries to get it back to Nico. Na halos sigurado na no para sa San Juan. We talked about them having the athletes to let them pampanga. Pero ang ganda ng challenge ni Archie para sa ibang koponan. Ramirez umatake, may foul pero wala pero merong bumagsak sa sahig. I believe that's Baltasar. It was on the drive by Ramirez. There you go, Mike Kiss. Getting a lot of contact defensively. Ayun, tinamaan. Doon sa elbow, no? Kaliwang elbow. Or arm, rather, ni Reynal Pugnatan. Oh, nice to see that he's able to get up. Pugnatan, I think, offering an apology there. Right, right. You know, that, that, that's the last thing you're going to say. Chips, let alone. A, re a recent championship, you know, with Meral Me Meralco, and you know, being a coach there as well. That's so I'm sure Dina Dalanya Rendito and you know. Well, meanwhile, there's an unsportsmanlike foul called against Reynel Hugnata, and he's trying to argue. I love last year, but the rebounding in in the MPB. 25 yung average niya the second round. Edson Serrano knocking down that beautiful fadeaway from the left side. They go to the block. Pugnatan against Ronan Santos. Papare backing him down, going to the left side. Gets it off the bank and in. Well, he wanted that matchup as soon as Pagpasok ni Santos. Baikis, another one this time from inside the arc. Wang 
kisses it off the glass for the tip-in. Alamang, ito bambanga ng tatlo. Back at the Phil Oil, Eco Oil in San Juan, I had an interesting conversation with Coach Gov Delta Pineda and Cho Enkert, be a team player. Have you in, Coach Chris? But uh, my kiss swings it to Hugnat and Papa Ray for three. Yes, sir. Wamar almost got the steal. They could not complete it. Binuya on the reverse. Making something out of nothing. What a finish. And goes for the reverse. And here he is trying to put pressure on Orlan Wamar. But Wamar gets the step and the finish. Two smallest guys on the floor. Back to back baskets para sa kanilang kuponan. A Serrano with the answer. That's a three pointer from top of the circle. Ekwam completes the steal. Soberano is ahead of the path. Binuya giving chase. Soberano finishes. There, there's the saying, Javi, looks can be deceiving. <laughs> you know, I'm a testament to that. Tulat neto. Kala mo two points na. Deceiving din. Mintis. Yung layup ni Maikes. Binaligan sa kabila ni Serrano. What a four point swing. And that's costly for someone. 30 to 25. Their move off the stagger. You see this one, Serrano. I uh, love that move. Uh, that crossover hesitation that uses the spin for the second move. Na pa iling na lang siya sa sarili niyang galaw. PBA for the Phoenix Fuel Masters. 8.8 points. We take a look at PBA legend Danny Ildefonso on that Pampanga sideline. Kick out. Alcoriza from downtown. No good. Flores pulls it down. Flores puts it back in. Tingnan muna natin itong rebound of the game brought to you by the MPBL party list ang kaliga ng mamamayang Pilipino. Uh, you talk about a big boy rebound. Mr. Edu Manzano oh. in the building here at the Philo Eleco Oil Center. Malonzo turns the corner. Malonzo the spin. Counted There's a yan. foul against Papanga. Yan. Sabi niya, ishoot mo na. Meanwhile, Alcoriza, he has been aggressive in this game among the other guards. Right here, you look at the action right here. But screen yeah, that quick slip, two on one underneath, and there's the body check. Another, Another turnover. Gotta get Orlan Lamar. Oh, nobody checking Alcoriza. Malonzo tried to catch him. Really? Ano oras na ba? Halos magalas o chunak. Pero sumisyes na parin ito de depensa ng San Juan at least for this moment. Magisa si Alcoriza. Para tapusin yung layup. Ball game, Coach Christian. Certainly is. At tulad nito, ang ganda ng no, individual the defense. Under the ni Kalisaan, pero off ball line, yun, sa loose ball. Tinamaan sa mukha. Itong si uh, Baltasar. It's gonna be an unsportsmanlike foul na itatawag laban kay Jeff Taonera. There you see Balti being treated on that Pampanga bench by right. our medical staff here at the venue. The two shots. Tuloy-tuloy ang flow ng dugo mula sa ilong ni Balti. They're fixing it now, icing it. But really, his jersey is just filled with drips of blood. Thank you for that update, Mika. Well, you know, it's gonna be a big thing kung di makabalik si Balti dito. You paid the price of being a star or a superstar. And our founder is now in the venue, Senator Manny Pacquiao. If you just tuned in, Balti Baltazar is on that Pampanga bench getting treated. His nose was bloodied up with a hit by Jeff Tahonera just a few moments ago. Encho, step through, floater, no good, gets his own miss, second serving, yes sir! Always a threat this time, empty corner. Garcia with the offensive board, Garcia Whoa. Whoa. fading to the left side, there's a foul on the loose ball. No, it's not going to be able to do it, it's not to be able to do it. Let's check out Tahonera there as he tried to Blot out Lervin Flores, right, but I'm, Flores getting the better position. I'm surprised that that wasn't an unsportsmanlike foul. First half, Maikez was free at top of the circle, but good thing Kalisan was able to convert on the reverse underneath. Not sure he was passing to someone. Wamar finishes finally a basket after the first conversion early. Salarong ito. Ang ganda nung outlet ni Miranda, ang ganda nung tapos sinigurado ni Wamar. Before that, he's missed four straight shots. No question. Uh, I, we're in the most talented season, itong, itong season six among all seasons. And right there, another fast break and a score by San Juan on that goaltending. Check out what happened on that last sequence, Kalisan almost losing balance, but Flores tapping the board, right? Dapat sa kanila na last shot, as you see, the two-time MVP. The deadlock at 38 as we head into halftime. Our halftime score. Playing at home, MJ Garcia 
those quick eight points in the first quarter. Meanwhile, we now begin the third quarter in game one of the Northern Division Finals between San Juan and Pampangas. Alcoriza and Baltazar starting the third quarter for the Giant Lanterns in Kurt Rayson. Nakawala dun ng depensa. First field goal in the game with a beautiful finish. Mike Esk finally gets his first basket of the game. May Taiwan, Malonzo, Kalisan, and Panganiban. Serrano all alone near the basket. Oh, Mike Esk and Malonzo. That puts Malonzo on the three. This was the beautiful uh, play uh, by Pampanga. Yung pasa sa ilalim ni Kurt Grayson uh, kay Serrano. Tignyo ng MPBL party list ang kaliga ng mamamayang Pilipino. Malonzo. Missing on the first free throw. There you see San Juan head coach Senator Jingoy Estrada always frustrated with missed free throws. Ng kanyang kupunan. That, that, that's one thing. Serrano working the two man game with Balti gets the roll on the shot. Now this time he was the screener. Rido and that quick slip to the basket. Off ball rebounders ng Pampanga. Ayan si Ay, Mintis. Pero yun, hindi na naman natutuwa itong si uh, Sen Jingoy. To the point that he's calling it. This is the one. Free throw brought him. And he's a guy that we mentioned. Bal Balti is fine as you can see. I said, how are you doing? He said, it's a bad thing. 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 Serbian coach Georgie Jovicic, who came straight from the airport, just arrived today. An all-around coach hoping to give good help for this series. So there you see the Serbian coach brought in by the Pampanga Giant Lanterns. I one missing there, and then the pitch out by Baltazar, finding Renzo Alcoriza, who has provided baskets. He's been usually an impactful player. Serrano with a miss. Ramirez puts it back in for the deuce. To no avail, Wamar is leaking out, and that's going to be an easy two points for Orlan Wamar. Got it in a quick outlet. Serrano for three. Step to the side, triple, but he gets his own miss and puts it back in. Panganiban kicks it out. Corner, triple. Reynel Hugnata knocks it down. Senator Jingoy Estrada. Ten. Shot fake. Wamar hooks a pass. Wang gets the bounce on the shot. So that's the defense of Hugnata. Kicks it out. Serrano wide open. Late challenge. And still, Encho Serrano knocking it down. That trifecta for Pampanga. And a quick out on the weak side. Hugnata to answer. That's all nylon. Para kay Reynel Hugnata. Noisier and noisier inside the Pillow Elec Oil Center. Concepcion. Three-pointer again. Like papalita ng tres dito ang pagbanga in Seguan. In our case, in the North Division final, both teams really going at it on both ends. Omar has a speed advantage on Aguilas. Finds one great delivery by Orlan Omar Jr. Archie Concepcion knocking it down from the right wing. So far, five points in the game. And there you see Orlan Omar doing one of the things he does best. Sakwang getting the deuce. Eh, kita natin, no, yung bulak for, for our viewers who just joined us, yung bulak sa, you know, kaliwang butas ng ilong ni Baltasar. Na part dito sa Pampanga, siya at siya, si Archie Concepcion. Mas matagal ba nga siya kay Gomdelde? <laughs> Ayun na, tama! <laughs> Baltasar flexing his muscles, dominating. By Egilos, Baltasar siya na nagbaba dito para sa Pampanga. Concepcion from downtown, yes sir! 64 to 55, plus 64 to 55 ang ating score. Is at court side, Pampanga going on a late run in that third quarter to nine. I believe that was a nine to nothing run because uh, both teams are leading, exchanging baskets. As you see, Reynel Hugnata opens the fourth with a post move. And Baltazar gets it, shot clock did not reset para sa Pampanga. Four seconds to go, but shot. Well challenged by Orlan Omar, but no problem para kay Archie, the Royal Bazooka. On that last play by San Juan, let's take a look at that last sequence for the Giant Lanterns. Concepcion knocking it down, no good. The tap goes to Balti. Leaking out is Garcia, he has Zach Wang in front of him. Nice challenge, but an even nicer finish para kay MJ Garcia. Evident. Who's the passer? The outlet passer once again. Nobody but Justin and MJ Garcia really showing Zach Wang. A free throw brought to you by Extreme of City Councilor Brent Gonzalez. Bar. Miranda puts on the brakes, puts it up. Nice basket there by the AJ Miranda. It's gonna have to be now. He hooks a pass, Hugnata the leading scorer for San Juan in this game. Rattles home, another three-point shot. Hugnata continues to add to his total 
as the leading scorer para sa San Juan. But the answer by Echo Serrano. He's loving the spotlight right now para sa Pampanga. Wamar with a hand in his face. That's no problem over the outstretched arms of MJ Garcia. Heck of a shot by Orlan. Garcia sets himself up for that three-point shot. Oh boy, a similar sequence in the third quarter. No, no, meron sila dito. Omar falls down. He would let underscore. The slip by Baltazar. Rayson decides to go for the shot himself. That took a lot of time on the ring, pero di nahulog. Baltazar, once again, he's showing a lot of emotion in this game, Coach Christian. He is, especially, especially after getting hit on the nose early in the first half. Trying to be checked by Wamar. No foul call. Drayson gets the step. Ramirez gets bumped and finishes through contact. This blow by on Orlan Wamar. Dere, dere, Chosi, Rayson. And because Reynel committed to him. This possession against Pampanga. Baltazar fakes a pass. Eventually gets it to Concepcion. And miraculously, see Archie Concepcion puts it in. Plus an end one opportunity. Because it feels like we're in Pampanga, but how about this play by the big fella? Leading that semi-fast break and dishing to Auchi Concepcion, who is having himself. Matters into his own hands as time slowly out of 15. The league missing two of his last four. Slowly also, some people heading to the exits. Beredo, turnover forced by San Juan, Miranda. 84 to 73 as we now approach the two minute mark of this fourth quarter. Another steal by Panganiba. He completes it. That's three straight buckets. Will this be enough time for the Knights to make this even more competitive? Serrano is left all alone. Bebuelo Serrano with a basket. Overheld in the backcourt. Left it on a three on one. Wamar with a three. When it's into Serrano with a basket. Uh, Pampanga, we've always. Para sa Knights. Panganiban. Defended by Concepcion, he'll take the three, that's no good to Balti. Balti opts to set the screen, Serrano loses it, but he gets it back. Concepcion has time to set himself up for the three-point shot. That's another triple for Archie Concepcion. Possession looked to be ending up in a turnover, but instead it finds the... Especially if you're playing away like Pampanga, as this three short by Encho. Winning this, uh, they could close it out. And the lack of execution in for the Knights in the charity stripe Salaruna to and the exclamation point by Baltazar slamming it home in one hand. If it takes them to practice two hours, the last hour will be free throws. I'm pretty sure about that as well. AJ Miranda. And uh, after that dunk by Justin Baltazar, it has sealed the deal for the Papanga Giant Lanterns, our defending champions this year, trying to itch closer to another spot. Ang namayagi. I hope I said that right. <laughs> Sa larong ito, walang iba, kundi ang Pampanga Giant Lanterns. Yun yung exclamation point na sinabi mo, yung tank na yun. During our regular season, but the Giant Lanterns looking every bit of the defending champions that they were last year. Our Daily Fantasy best player of the game coach ang daming choices na pwedeng piliin but you went with Archie Concepcion. Well, 91 to 84 is our final count.